morning muffins. It's Sheree. Having my zero smart point in Simply Filling coffee and using my homemade almond milk in this now. I'm counting it as Simply Filling. Whatever. So today I have an appointment. So my husband is working from home. Um, I'm gonna be heading out to that in about an hour and a half. <laughs> um, and then, I forgot what I was gonna say, my brain. And then I might try and take Asa thrifting. I really wanna go look for some shorts for him and um, just some stuff for myself. I just feel like thrifting. I just feel like doing it. And then uh, tomorrow is 4th of July officially. Look at how messy he's made the room in here. It's been like 10 minutes. So tomorrow is officially 4th of July, but we don't have any family that lives in town or within like 20 minutes or an hour, not even within an hour. So, and all of our friends are going to this big camp out that we usually go to every year. And I'm super bummed that we can't do it. <laughs> but it's, um, it's rustic camping. So it's, um, but, but it's a rustic camp camp. So there's no like, it's in the middle of the wilderness. There's no bathrooms. There's no running water. Um, there's definitely no air conditioning or electricity where I can plug in his sock. Uh, it's going to be super hot, like, like in the nineties. And I just don't think he's old enough yet for some rugged camping. So we're skipping it this year. So anyway, all of our friends are going to be gone to this camp out. So I'm trying to think of something we can do as a family tomorrow, but then again, it's a holiday and not a lot is open. <laughs> um, so I got to think about that today and try and come up with something that we could do as a family. And then Saturday, we're driving to Alabama, which is where my mother lives, and we're going to a 4th of July celebration there. That's actually on Saturday. Um, so he will get some 4th of July action, just not till Saturday. So this week has been a little bit of a tough mommy week. Um, Asa is going, my Wonder Weeks app says he's in some kind of stormy period. Um, he is like, any day now, he's just gonna start walking. He's taking steps every day but he's super clingy and fussy and whiny and nothing I do is right. And the quiet moments are a blessing because <laughs> I don't know how long they're gonna last. Um, so I've just had a really rough mom week, but I have not turned to food, which is good. Um, I have not been tracking my weeklies as accurately, uh, mostly because I'm super under my calories every day. <laughs> so I think I'll still have a loss this week, but honestly, I've had such a bad week that I don't care. <laughs> The fact that I have not gone to Taco Bell is a miracle. Honestly, I was, I told my husband, he's like, I had a really bad night last night. I was, I was a little bit upset. We had a bad day. Me and I said, bad a day, had a bad day. And he's like, what, can, what, what can I do to make you feel better? And I was like, I want a night in a hotel by myself. I want Taco Bell and a, and a cake from Publix. <laughs> he's like, okay, you can have all of those things. Go, go get a hotel room. I was like, no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, being a mom's hard. I'm sure being a baby's harder because he can't communicate what he needs to me, which is why he's frustrated. So I keep trying to remind myself that he's being difficult because he's going through something and he can't even tell me what it is. So I know that's gotta be frustrating for him. But he is like seconds from walking, which is so exciting. Um, I'll insert a little video. I caught him finally taking a step um, when I was on Instagram this morning. I've been trying to get him on video doing it. He's been doing it for weeks, but I haven't been able to catch him. So I caught him this morning. <laughs> so I think I'm going to do a little bit of a 4th of July vlog. It probably won't be a lot of like talking, It'll probably be like a voiceover, but I just want to kind of use it as accountability, whether I decide to do simply filling, which I keep saying I'm going to do, but it takes prep and I've had such a week. I don't know if I'm going to want to prep stuff. I might just count points and use weeklies that day. Um, but I want to be accountable for it. <laughs> So I think I'm going to film that day and you guys can see how I handle 4th of July festivities. So our beach trip is in two and a half weeks, I think. I'm so excited. I really hope it goes well. It's our first big vacation with Asa and, and the whole family. We're going to be gone for like seven, seven days straight. Like it's, it's a big one. Of course, I'm not going to be dieting on that week. If you guys are new here, I do not diet usually on holidays. And I'm talking about like major holidays, not like 4th of July. Um, although I probably won't on this one either. But I just feel like those are, I don't know. I guess it's just because I'm, I'm on the slow track. I'm not in any rush. And I feel like in order to enjoy my life, 
I have to look forward to those days and enjoy those foods that I don't get all the time. Especially like beach food at restaurants we don't eat that often or holidays where my mom cooks stuff and I don't get that but once a year. So I do not, di I do not diet, I do not count points on like holidays or vacations basically. And that makes my weight loss a little bit slower, but honestly, it's worth a five pound gain to me. I don't, it, that's nothing. <laughs> like, it's so worth it to me. <gasps> Hi, Stinky. What are you doing? Uh, oh, yeah? You gonna walk today? No. <laughs> also super excited, I booked my ticket. He's behind my chair. I booked my ticket and I'm going to visit Celia the first week in September. So we're gonna get back from the beach. I'll have a month to get back on track, recuperate, lose a little bit of extra weight, and then I'm going to visit her. And you know we ain't dieting, we are not dieting while we're together. And um, and then I think I'll be golden until Thanksgiving. I think it's the next holiday after that. I'm good with that. All right, well, I'm gonna hop off here because now I'm just yakking about nothing. I'm gonna finish my coffee. Do I need to tell you what's in here? It's my homemade almond milk coffee, gelatin, um, stevia and fiber <laughs> fiber powder all right well i will show you guys what i eat for breakfast so the best thing about this really expensive ubi ubi i think is how you say it <laughs> um diaper pail is that it has a lock on the top so his little butt can't get in there because if you don't lock it that's the first <gasps> Oh my gosh, did you see that? So for breakfast, I just made some avocado toast. Here's what I fed my son. I just did sort of a like a broken down version of what I was eating. I used this coconut oil that's butter flavored for his toast. And then here's mine. It's got some garden tomato on it from our garden, then two eggs, avocado and sprouted bread. I, this is all simply filling and I'll put the points below. world's biggest glasses woohoo um i'm off to my appointment i am bringing some cherries because they're simply feeling and delicious and then i also have my giant thing of water um i had a pretty big breakfast so i don't think that i will need it but i like to be prepared why are you driving by my driveway so slow creeper so anyway, I'm off. I'm gonna listen to a true crime podcast. Pretend like this quiet, babyless moment is a vacation. <sighs> and center my chi. For lunch, I was in a hurry, so I just had a quick little turkey wrap with this um, healthy wrappy wrap right here. It's simply filling, delicious. To take a little family trip to the thrift store, it is hot as Satan's under pits. There's some chocolate from like two years ago and a nice little collection of of favorites here's my cute kids feet Ooh, coffee cups delightful i didn't go home with anything this is rare uh, well i did buy a book but usually i come home with some goodies um our thrift store was like struggling i would like to go shopping but i'm thrifting instead um i want to eat like a gilmore and stay skinny like that's the book i'm gonna buy but i did find this one i didn't buy it but um i thought it was interesting to see old weight watchers information so cute got my Grove Collaborative order in. Um, they just sell like more naturally sort of cleaning products and I needed to stock up on some stuff we were running out of. So I got some more of these all-purpose cleansing wipes. I love these for wiping down his um, high chair and the countertops, but my favorite thing is they're compostable and they smell really good. So I got two of those. Um, they had a free gift with every order and it was this little tray that actually matches my stuff. So I'm gonna put that there instead of this one. Um, but this came free with the order. I got some laundry detergent pods that smell really good. I got some more all-purpose cleanser in rosemary, some hand soap, and then I got this concentrate because um, that way I can refill this one. Uh, I love rosemary, it's my favorite scent. I got a little soap holder for my shower, for my shampoo bar. Um, I didn't like setting it right on our rack, so I got this to try. And then I got this Skin Food um, moisturizer. Um, Carissa really highly suggests this, so uh, I can't wait to give this a try. And then I get, this came with a free gift, but the free gift is just a mini version of the big one. So I guess it's good for travel, but I, I was hoping it would be something else from Alita. And then also I got a free Mint and Argan lip balm. 
um, with my order. So that's what I got from Grove. <sighs> So we just got back from the thrift store and got the baby to bed. My husband is making Simply Filling fajitas for dinner. I'm super excited about it. He's in the garden picking some tomatoes. Um, yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> um, we had an unsuccessful trip. I didn't find any clothes that I liked that fit me. That's the only thing I like about thrifting is it's not a good morale booster for weight loss because the sizes are very, they're all over the place and you have to hunt for them. Uh, so anyway, the only thing I got was a book <laughs> that I could read at the beach. So we're about to have some dinner, fail at the thrift store, moving on. Here's my Simply Filling dinner. It's just four corn tortillas toasted with some fajita chicken seasoning, some tomatoes from the garden, and some of this green salsa that's only 10 calories. Um, here's what the chicken looks like. It was delicious! So I'm going to end my vlog here. Um, I'm probably going to have one or two of my date balls in a little bit, but you guys see them all the time, so I don't feel like you need another video of them. Um, it's another good day, and I made it, so I'm going to go watch Handmaid's Tale and relax and go to bed. <laughs> but I hope everyone has a happy and safe fourth, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!